complex because we suffer from self-hate. We need this continent. My vision is not to be a president of South Africa. My vision is to have one African continent with one mission, with one president, with one currency, with one government, with one dominant language which will make us to communicate with ease. Because they divided us and then imposed languages on us, made sure that we don't just talk to each other, not only in the continent, even here um, in South Africa. This interview, we should be conducting it in our own, one of the indigenous languages that is common and well spoken by everyone, whites, colors, Indians, Africans should be knowing that language. If you check the whites of Zimbabwe, they speak Shona very well. Why? Because it's been taught in schools. Why can't we have one common language in Africa and share ideas through that language? Because if we cannot speak the same language, we'll never understand each other. And that division will perpetuate from one generation uh, to the end. I want to go to Nigeria, I want to go to Ghana, I want to go uh, to Egypt the same way I came to uh, Kimban without anyone asking me where you're going, where are your papers. As long as I produce one common passport of Africa, it's a passage. Let me go. And anyone, free movements of persons and goods, anyone who brings the Chinese goods here and claim they are Malawian goods. There should be heavy fines, including imprisonment for such people. It must be purely Malawian goods which are produced in Malawi, which are going to a free movement in the whole of African continent. In that way, we're growing, we're going to grow each other. There's no Malawian who's going to come here. There's no Zimbabwean who's going to come here. They will stay in their countries because there are opportunities there for their countries who are trading with each other without any restrictions. The Europeans, through the European Union, they are doing it. But they can't allow us to do it. I, I, I'm, I'm more insulted by Africans than anyone else when I say, let's have a borderless continent, let's have free movement of persons and goods. South Africans have been made to believe that there is nothing outside South Africa. And we've got a lot of things to offer to the continent. But the way we are so restricted, we don't think that there is a world outside South Africa. And we even think there is Africa, then there is South Africa. So that's where our problem is. Once they open the borders, we are going to realize that, no, man, there's actually a huge market out there. There are a lot of things we are doing here in this country which are not being done in many African countries. We can go and introduce them there and get ourselves huge opportunities. But we are believed to believe that there is nothing out there. All the good things are in South Africa. That's why these people are coming to South Africa. It's not true. They are coming to South Africa partly because there is violence where they come from. They are coming to South Africa partly because their economy has collapsed. We need to revive those economies. No, thanks. Thank well, we will go to the